The thing that you got to, I guess, concentrate most is that there are three players that will score in double digits for USC, but it's on the defensive end that they win games. Number 16 in the country in scoring defense. They only give up 51.6 points a game. There is their leader, Lindsey Gottlieb, now in her second season. Longtime head coach at Cal and, of course, spent two years in the NBA with the Cleveland Cavaliers. What a job she's done uh, rebuilding this Trojans team and this program quickly. For Washington State, I think the key, Tara Wallach, when she scores at least 10, they're 8-1. and one. When Johanna Tedder scores at least 10, they're 23-4. and four. So without Charlize Ledger-Walker in the lineup, you got to look to Wallach and Tedar to get it done for Cami Etheridge in her fifth season. It's been a, a historic time for this program. Yeah, it really has. And we talked about it in the open about that big sweep of the Oregon schools. And Kimmy Etheridge was talking about how she liked her, how her team responded to adversity, their poise. Well, they've got some adversity tonight, again, with no Charlize Ledger Walker. This is Tedar at the free throw line. And again, USC will try to create turnovers and taking it away there is Adika. And back on the Trojans. This is Littleton. We highlighted her in the open. They go right to the post. Sissoko. And this is big, too. Sissoko hasn't played for USC since 12, December 30th. Um, she has been their leading scorer. She's averaging over 15 points a game. And from the elbow, the shot is up and missed by Sissoko. And Motuga the rebound. Look, Washington State has some experience, though, in playing without Charlize Ledger Walker yes. a couple of weekends ago. She also went home to New Zealand as Mur Bella Murakatete, the drive, lost the basketball. Get back to that story in a moment. This is Williams in the open floor. Shot up. Tedder got back defensively. Tahina controls the loose ball. Motuga, and back comes Washington State. Wallen turns down the corner three. The drive, the bounce. And again, the Trojans take it right away. And you can just see how disruptive this defense is of the Trojans. Washington State yet to run a clean offense. Littleton, the drive, left it short. Again, both teams struggling to score here early. Bella Murakatepte on the run can't reel it in. And right now, Washington State begins this game with four turnovers. Credit the Trojans' defense. A lot of pressure to begin. Kayla Williams. This is Sissoko, the drive on Motuga. They believe that this team, in a way, grew up without Charlize. They're still confident. Yeah, and you're exactly right, because players have to step up, right? Um, you've got to fill in those, uh, all those categories that Charlize fills in, that being vocal, the assist. Wallach, home run ball, Motuga, the catch. Left hand finish, tied at two. And what do you do against shot blockers? Ball fake, right? Great. Southern Cal, 0 for 5. Williams, Sissoko for three, drops that through, the splash gives the Trojans the final two wins. Bella, he's in trouble, great cut by Wallach, the catch off the glass, and it falls through, <laughs> was, by four. You're exactly right, uh, Wallach, seeing her teammate Murakatete in trouble, cutting to the rim, Getting just enough daylight to get that pass through and finishing. That was a tough finish. Had a great catch by Wallach. That was a bullet from Bella Murica Tete. Ten on the shot clock. Here's Marshall. Hand on. Shot on the way. Up and good. Adika. Make sure that you know your personnel and play them according to the game plan. That are. Transition three, left wide open. Defense did not get back on her. Can you fight your way back and get in that large bid? It'll be interesting. In the Pac-12, women's basketball is so difficult. It is such a loaded league that it is so difficult to get a win, especially on the road. It really will come down to protecting home court and how they do in the tournament. With two on the clock, the heave from deep by Sissoko doesn't go. Taylor Bigby, number one on the floor for USC. This is Wallach with it for Washington State. Motuka can shoot the three, so you saw Sissoko pop out on her. Bella Murakatete will not shoot it from downtown. Wallach on the floor, spin to the middle. Defense was there. I can waffle with it was there to help but 
Bella Muricatete with the field goal for Washington State. If Bella's able to score against these post players of USC, it could bode well for Washington State. They take it away, Wallach on the move. Sissoko, a great job to run the floor and stop the penetration and then takes it away. Potuga back defensively for Washington State to step through, got the bucket, and a chance for three. Look at the footwork and then the vision, the concentration to finish the play. How rusty are they going to be? How are they going to look at their first comeback? And so far, Sissoko is looking pretty good. Free throw off, Motuga clears it. Motuga's first foul of this game. I was waiting for the stat machine to refresh. I was worried that it was her second, but there's Tohina from the baseline for Washington State. And the Trojans let lightning right back down the other end to the post. Marshall missed, got it back, shot up and through. Overtime points. Um, they didn't have her earlier in the season for games. Coming back and big, big impact. Estera Tahina, the freshman who is getting the start because Charlize Ledger Walker not available to Washington State. And a little step back jump shot falls. Talented freshman for the Cougars. Marshall can't get it to go. Clark was there defensively. 25 seconds to play in this opening quarter. Two point game. Big B. Tisoko trying to step through and does. Throws it high off the glass to score. She has nine points to lead all scores. And we're tied at 13. Final chance for the Cougars here in this opening quarter. Tedar the drive. May have gotten away with a travel. And Bella able to score but also drop a dime. She's got two assists in that opening quarter for Washington State. And off the bench, rimming out the three. Big rebound there by Marshall. Shot up. Tahina on the floor. Grabs the loose ball. But Allison Mura missing that opening three for the Trojans and now Washington State can take the lead. This is Sarver. The Tara Wallach. Screen set by Jessica Clark. This is a long two. And Marshall, so yeah. good as Rhea Marshall. Can defend. Yes. USC's going to want this game in the 50s if they can get it there and it's trending that way right now. You know, it, both teams just love to take their opponents out of their rhythm. See Soko with the drive and then watch Tara Wallach just say, yep. I'll get you from behind really tough to defend she likes to put the ball on the floor you can see that you've got to stay disciplined and then she's got the the footwork to do the little up and unders and caddy with three 20 plus point games this year and again washington state takes it away they tried to go to marshall on the post that wasn't there each team now with six turnovers tahina catch fire that long just a bit Mira probably will not shoot the three. Adika back to Marshall. Inside, good offense by the Trojans. And that's just a luxury where you can throw it up as a guard and let your post go grab it out of the air. Marshall now with four points. Gardner, corner three on the way. Bingo. They're in front, 16-15. Littleton into the corner, down to the post. Sissoko squares the feet, knocks it down from 12 feet. Played just nine games a year ago for Oregon before transferring. There's a travel call on Gardner. He's starting to come on at least one three-pointer in eight of their last ten games. Keep an eye on Bigby. There's a three on the way. That's off from Adika. Matuga back on the floor for Washington State. And that is the nightmare of any coach. And, and that's where uh, we saw in those two losses for the Cougs with Utah and Colorado, they really missed the ball handling skills of Charlize. And so um, making sure that you settle down, take care of the ball, especially, you know, if, they, if USC starts to press or anything like that, you've got to make sure that you value the ball. Littleton step back three. That's long. She begins 0 for 4, but the offensive rebound by Adika. Another chance for Williams. Gardner with it. Motuga sets the screen three on the way. That's long. And Marshall up for the rebound. Outlet pass. Bigby runs it down. 
Well, Taylor's got great size, 6'1". This is a star on the rise for Coach Gottlieb. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, and then going into that Stanford game, if we look back, she tied her career high of three threes. Her rival, but 6.5 points a game, but already a basically a 43% shooter from three. At 6'1", it's the eye test. And now Gardner with Littleton there for the Trojans. Sarver lost the handle, got it back, drives the lane. Skip to the corner, Motuga three. It's good, Ula Motuga from downtown. She's got five. Kayla Williams with it. Washington State now with ten turnovers. Yeah. And if you look at that, USC with seven points off of those turnovers. Not enough. Marshall the catch, but again, the difference in the game. Against Bella Merck, attempted good defense. Marshall missed. Credit Bella for staying down and not fouling. Early in her career, she would have fouled. Yeah, you know, then, then that's experience, right? Uh, they need her on the floor. They cannot afford her to get into foul trouble, especially when you're looking at the length and the size of the post of USC. Grace Sarver, here's Motuga. Five on the shot clock, Grace Sarver. She'll drive on Big B. And this will be the first time the Cougs get to the free throw line today as well. Yeah, the Trojans have been there five times. There's Lindsay Gottlieb in her second season. What a career she's already had. This program is on the rise. If you're going to get USC, it's a good year to get them. <laughs> Change is coming. Yeah. The wind is blowing. There's Williams on the drive. Building a legacy, but they also want to be a tournament team this year. Putting those pieces together. You're seeing it come together. And again, seven NC2A appearances yeah. with Cal, but she was there for eight years. They had a 3.3 GPA as a team. It's the best GPA for a semester the program has ever had. Ten on the shot clock. Kahina turned down the three. Mid-range jumper is short. Rhea Marshall runs down the long rebound. Trojans back in the offensive end quickly. Soko, three Cougars yeah. converged on her there. Littleton looking for a first field goal. Plenty of time for the post. Rhea Marshall stripped by Sarver. Ball still loose. Great job by Sarver. Great help. Littleton the kick. Seven on the shot clock. Soko jump shot over Motuga. Still looking for her first points here tonight. 0 for 6. She'll get it going. Motuga. A minute to play first half. Bounce to Hina. Shot away and it drops. Astera Tahina understanding space and how to get open moving without the ball. And she's done a nice job. The shot before she didn't make it, but she's doing a nice job of reading the defense and stopping short of those shot blockers. Marshall unable to get the ball to the post successfully. Turnover number eight. Tahina again bounce. Murica Tete. Averages 1.3 blocks a game. One of the best shot blockers the program's all ever had. Yeah, setting fifth for Washington State of all time blocks. Uh, we talk about Marshall. Well, right now this game's trending for the 40s. <laughs> That's but it's been right fun. For both but teams. it's been fun. Like we've seen great players yes. and, and making plays. They're going at each other. Sissoko, eight on the shot clock. She'll shoot it again. Now with 15 points. Washington State with a chance. Williams takes it away from Wallet. The off the glass is no good. One offensive rebound in yeah. that first half. They've got to change that if they want to win. Yeah, zero for Washington State and seven for USC. And then USC with seven second chance points. And Washington State begins with a turnover. For Washington State, they were led by Tahina six. Motuga had five. They were 9 of 22, 41%. But they've got to figure out number 30. Patty Sissoko, 6 on the shot clock. Touched by Williams. The launch. 
Kayla Williams from downtown USC. Sarah Tahina. Wallet cutting through. Tahina trying to distribute and then a little mid range jumper. She's got that in her game. And Williams with the Trojans up by four. Shot on the way from downtown. In and out. Back in for Okako Adika. Adika has been. You know, we haven't seen her on the... And now this is the largest lead of the game for USC. Wallach to miss. Soko with the rebound. And now she'll look to distribute from the corner. Rhea Marshall. Littleton yet to get going. 0 for 6 in that first half. Destiny to drive on Bella Murakatete. <laughs> You know, uh, nothing will fluster her. Both free throws good, and now it's a nine-point lead for SC. Long way to go. And you heard Coach Gottlieb talking about needing the offense to get going. They're two for four to begin. And Jessica Clark from the deep elbow. Washington State now two of four to begin as well this second half. Yeah, and you gotta you gotta credit Jessica Clark. Hey, you need somebody to score right now. Um, she had a big game against Oregon. We mentioned that career high 14 points. Marshall the drive right at Clark. Ronatetto trying to go to Clark. Pass ended up with a stare at Tahina. a bad pass to Wallet. They missed the 20 points a game, obviously, but those five assists and her leadership ability is what's missing right now. Offensive rebound, cut back up and good by Okako Adika. Here's Ula Matuga. Tedar, they need the three. That one's off. Destiny Littleton in perfect position for the rebound. Williams the drive. Nice vision. Big be back on the floor. First time this third quarter for her. And there's a bump and a foul called on Astera Tahina. Of course, you got Haley Jones leading it down there for Stanford. I love that one two punch. So good. Littleton looking for the first field goal, and it still won't drop. But the offensive rebound up and good. Colorese back in Waffle. Ula Matuga. That are the backdoor cut, but Bigby right there to close it down. And now Wallach to drive. Bella Maricatete, another rebound on the offensive end and a chance for three. And should be pointed out as she drops in what's left of the three-point play is the ten-point game. But Marshall on the bench when Bella Maricatete able to get that done. And stepping on the sideline is Taylor Bigby. As Akin Waffle goes out for the Trojans. Tahina down the lane, all the way to the rim and scores. Tahina with 10, eight point Trojan lead. Well, if you've been following the Cougs, you know that they're never going away. Never. We have seen them fight back and claw back into so many games. They've had several this year. They're not going to go away. And USC's offense has proven this year they're not a team that can score points in buckets and run away and hide. From most cases, but you've got to do something with her. Got easy Soko. Bella Murakatete, Marshall right up under her. Bella fake the pass, backs in. Left hand scores. Well, you talked about the length of Big B, 6 1. She can really get out there and affect shots. Murakatete, what a great defensive play on Marshall there. The block and able to regain possession there. It was headed out of bounds. Giving Washington State another chance. Yeah, it's one thing to block a shot, right? Alter shots, but if you can keep the possession for your team. Marshall on the drive. Great strip. Great focus. Look at she was paying attention to where that baseline was as well. Staying inbound. That's good. That's really good. Great body control. Otuga. She's so powerful in there. Bella driving for the free throw line. Up and good. Bella Murakatete with 10. 
And it's down to six. Destiny looking over to the bench. Three seconds on the clock. Littleton recognizes three on the way is off. Washington State struggled for You've really got to protect home court. Um, you can see what everybody's fighting for, right? For positioning in the tournament with your seeds. Um, really big. This is a big game tonight for both these teams. And if the season ended today, that would be a record eight Pac-12 teams in the NCAA tournament. And Rhea Marshall, Charlize, only a part of one loss in Pac-12 play for Washington State when she scored 40 in Seattle but lost to Washington. Mm -hmm. Will the voters in the end take those losses into consideration without their best player on the floor? Time will tell. But again, a shot clock violation there. Ted are unable to touch the rim. And so, virtually a turnover there. Can the Trojans take advantage up by eight? Allison Mura in the corner. Finds the soft spot on that good defense and banked it in for three. And she's, and she's got a little smile on her little face. Smirk smile. I'll take it. <laughs> Grace Sarver with Littleton up under her. Dehina got Bella Murakatete, tough pass, but Bella able to reel it in, try to step through, but then traveled against Marshall. Tara Wallach, she needs to get the 10 plus points. Johanna Tedar needs to get the 10 plus points. It would help Washington State's yeah. prize. And so far in this game, Wallach has two, and Tedar has three. Five points between the two of them. Feet underneath, and a foul called on Grace Sarver. A graduate player from Paris, France. And the soft touch pays off. She had her average in the yes, first half. She yes. had 15 points. This is just her fourth point of the second second half here. That's what a soft touch does for you. Now, this is a USC defense. One of the best in the country. Number six in team scoring defense. Number six in their three-point defense. Yes, there's a three-point shot there. Number six in their defensive field goal. And, of course, Coach Gottlieb's comments after halftime as Marshall going to work, missed it, Matuga clears it. Well, she was happy with her defense, unhappy with her offense. But, look, defense travels, offense doesn't always work. Well, with another three from Washington State. They're back in it with back-to-back -back threes. Tahina first, and now Wallach, and it's down to seven. Wallach now with five, but a lot of time. Three minutes plus to play. Turnover. Tahina with it. A two on two. Tedar step through. Scores. Washington State to within five. It's an 8 0 run in the last minute and 30 seconds, sparked by Washington State's defense. Is there more to come? Destiny Littleton with the basketball for the Trojans. Three minutes to play in Pullman. The winner of this game gets the four and three. The loser three and four in Pac-12 play. Motuga, the defense, loose ball. Ula picks it up. And a whistle. And possession will go to Washington State. They tried to go inside, but they ran into the brick wall that is number 15. Yeah. Well, Sissoko has had such a great offensive night, but Ula doing a great job of just staying straight up. Look at that little seal. Oh. Sarver missed the lay-in. Williams on the floor. Tahina is as well, along with Wallach. It'll be Destiny Littleton to Williams. The Cougars with their ears pinned back now. Trojans need a bucket. Coach Gottlieb directing traffic from the sideline. And again, Wallet steps in front of the passing lane. And another jump ball call. It'll go to Washington State. The inbound now to Grace Sarver. 2.12 to go. Washington State down by five. Five turnovers now in the last five minutes for USC. It's opened the door for the Cougars. 
Tahina to the baseline. Thought about a step back. She'll go back to Sarver. Ten on the shot clock. A lot of dribble right now for Washington State. Sarver needs help. Here's Motuga. Motuga the drive. Two on the shot clock. They won't get a shot off. This Cougar or this Trojan defense coming up big there with a minute 43 to go. Cougars will try to turn over USC again. It remains an 8-0 run. The Washington State still down by five seconds ticking away. Littleton to the corner. Shot off, long rebound. Tahina runs it down. Adika missing from the corner. And again, another opportunity for the Cougars. This is Grace Sarver into the corner. Tahina had to go up for the catch. Tedar to drive the lane. And a foul called on uh, number one, Taylor Bigby. Sarver, here's Tedar. Minute to play, three on the way, too hard. Rhea Marshall rips it down. Again, Carol Wallet saw it coming to run out. Oh, she missed the lay in. 40 seconds to play in Pullman. USC still up by five. Williams trying to create some space. Should they be fouling here? Down by two possessions. Tenard ended up fouling, perhaps waited too long. So Destiny Littleton will go to the free throw line, an 88.6% free throw shooter. Two for two tonight, her only two points. And she misses the front end. Littleton will try to extend it to six. Tahina will be inbounding. A must-have for Washington State. That guy go quick. Tahina. Drive into the lane. Shot blocked by Marshall and ripped out of the air. A 65% shooter there. For the game, these are her first free throws. 17.3 to go. First one's good. That was a big shot. Marshall, the heart and soul of this Trojan defense. Sarver, the rebound and the timeout. And we've seen him run late game plays for Ula Matuga yes. as well. And she's, she's knocked down some big big shots for him in the games. Got to shoot it. Tedar moving to her left, looking to pass. Trojan defense is there. Sarver to Tahina underneath. Motuga shot blocked by Marshall and grabbed. And that's going to do it. USC hangs on to defeat Washington State.